I started this a little over a year ago. It was no, it was November 5th. It was when uh, Obama had just been elected to a president. And then I hit the streets that day. I met Flash my very first day doing the project. He shaped the entire dynamic of the project. My name is Flash and I'm the one who did the right for the Tenderloin project. Before he let me take his picture, he made me talk to him for a good hour. He said, why, why are you doing this? My main answer was that I just, I want to uh, interact with the community. I'm an outsider, I didn't lie, I was like, I'm an outsider to this community and I, I've heard a lot about it and I basically wanted to form my own opinion. We talked for a while and then he was like, okay, you can take some pictures now. I met Sean and I don't know, it seemed like Sean just taking off. He left me with a little analogy that first time when I hung out with him and he was like, why is it that you eat one apple and you get to its core and it's bitter? And then you eat another apple and you get to its core and it's sweet. I knew he was getting at something, but I didn't know what he was trying to say exactly. And then um, I was literally working with my dad the next day painting a house and then I was eating an apple at lunch figured it out. And it was people. For the show, I'm doing a series of 35 prints that I've, I've taken while doing the project. And uh, they range in size from like 40 by 60 to 4 by 6. The other part of the show that's been really amazing is that I reached out to a variety of artists that I've been able to work with. Mike Giant, Mark Bodie, Apex, Greg Mike, Oliver Black. I've been giving these posters, these, these screen prints, to a variety of artists within the community, within San Francisco, and even as far out as Atlanta. And having them do collaboration pieces on the poster. And those will be for sale as part of the, of the show. I think a big part of Black Scale too is, is it comes from struggle too, you know? Our crew definitely relates with the project because struggle is every day. All right, bro, I'll see you soon. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. You know, one of the things in the, in the 70s was with Lee Freelander and Diane Arbus is that their approach to photography, it's, it's not to reform life, but to know life. That's been the amazing part of the project. Is these subjects giving me the chance to know their lives. When I was talking about the analogy with the octopus, this, this I feel is the, the body, the mind. Back you got oranges, that full of juice, sweet. And then you got oranges, another one, some one. The dry don't have no juice in it at all. Like there's no life in it. It's people like that. You know, because some people walk around here every day like they dry, bitter, don't have no life in them. Mad at the world, mad at everybody. Then you got some people like the sweet fruit, just full of life, bubbling with energy, natural juice. <laughs>